We are on the corner of East 35th and Cedar. At Matt's Bar, home of the original Juicy Lucy. I'm highly recommended. It, it smells absolutely amazing out here. So we're gonna go in and take a look at this. Cold beer, hot cheese since 1954. So we just ordered, we got a bunch of Juicy Lucy's. This is a cute little place. It's actually bigger than it looks on the outside. Plenty of tables. Um, so, so far just real cute, but real simple menu. It's hamburgers, chicken, Fries. fries that's it so but it smells so good we can see him cooking too like that's the grill right there so in, behind, in the actual barn. <laughs> back over in my corner you can see him grilling back there we'll walk around it is lunchtime it is my back my watch is dead so what is it 12 30 uh, yes. yeah, it's 12 30 right now so it's a little busy in here so we'll walk around uh, after people leave and take a look at this place but so far it looks awesome fun little place just on the corner love it all right it has arrived so look how thick that is and then underneath is the pickles and onions nice thick patty we got a whole bunch of fries got the chicken sandwich over here jordan can you pick up your bun it's a nice piece of chicken on there. Good straight up chicken sandwich. Let's give this a try. Jen's got the fry. What do you think of the fries? The fries are so good. And the juicy Lucy. With everything Jose, did on you it. Burn your tongue? Yeah. Okay. Mm. The cheese oozes out. <laughs> so good. That's awesome. Jazz, what do you think? Um, you want to put in for your first bite? Mm. That is so good. Okay, your pickle's going to fall out, buddy. We have finished our meal. That was so good. I am not an onion on my burger guy. I don't like chopped onions. I don't like you know just diced onions sliced onions if i'm at mcdonald's i have no onions on my burger these onions were so good um i didn't want to i just wanted to eat it the way it came i wanted the juicy lucy pickles onions everything that was so good it was really weird uh taking that first bite and having the cheese like explode out of the back of my burger um but it gave me kind of a dipping sauce for the fries so that ended up working out in my benefit so good uh, i'm not sure where we're off to next but that's the end for uh matt's this was a really good great stop really happy we decided to stop here uh, everyone seemed to really enjoy the food and we'll close out from there it's all right we are in the van it got real busy real quick as we were walking out there's a bunch of people coming in what everyone think at lunch Delicious. Awesome. Amazing. 1,000 star rating. <laughs> 1,000 star rating. Everyone really enjoyed it. The price was really reasonable for, you know, party of five, party of three. Really reasonable price for a good meal. Very popular little place. So just randomly, I mean, there's a houses around us. There's these little uh, mobile or uh, what do you call them? The book drops? Uh, mobile library. Li this little library. Yeah, where it's just like a little birdhouse looking thing with uh you just take a book and leave a book so cool such a cool little area so happy we came to this one now our next stop we are off to the sculpture park we are now at minneapolis sculpture garden so we're further into minneapolis walking around looking at all these different sculptures
So all the sculptures have markers on them. Even more. It always has to go back to Disney somehow. Back of Snowman. Looks like a BB-8. So we're just gonna say it's BB-8. Copyright infringement, I'm sure. Oh, this is cool. This one. That is awesome. Spoonbridge and Cherry. That was so cool. There's water coming down the cherry stem. Random sculpture of the day, a giant blue rooster. Now, it's pretty cool with all the detail, but I'll have to look into the story of the giant blue rooster. The sculpture has a swing attached to it and it says four people or five kids. This sculpture is called For Whom. And it is a giant bell that naturally keeps swinging. That is really cool. As we say goodbye to Sculpture Park, we'll do one last shot of the cherry spoon. This was half an hour adventure. You know, there is paid parking. We found a free street parking spot. But cool little Sculpture Park. It'd be great to come out here, have lunch, and look around at these things. Uh, maybe pick up your Juicy Lucy from Matt's. Bring it over here, lots of benches. Uh, there is public restrooms and water filling stations I saw a sign for. But nice little stop. Didn't take us long to walk around the whole thing. So yeah, here's a sign for restrooms this way. But we're gonna call it an end for the sculpture park. It was a fun little experience. Now, next, I think we're gonna go look for uh, some ice cream. We're gonna go find a nice place for some uh, dessert. Let's see where we end up. We have made our way to East 48th Street in Chicago. We are at Pump House Creamery. Let's go get some ice cream. Amazing.
amazing dairy from Autumn Wood Farm located in Forest Lake. Jen, what did you get here? If I'm remembering correctly, I got the, this is the brownie banana. Uh, one was coconut almond, cookies and cream, um, the pralines one, and a coffee one. So this is the five mini scoop flight. And I just got the root beer flip. So I got the root beer float with Virgil's handcrafted root beer and vanilla ice cream. So, I don't know if this is going to be a theme, but we're back in the car again to react to, what was the name of that ice cream place? Ice cream place? Pump House Creamery. Pump House Creamery. What would everyone think? Amazing. Delicious. <laughs> we all devoured the ice cream. The flight was an awesome concept. Five different little servings so you can try everything. About the size of a ping pong ball. Yep. And Jen and Jesse got like different flavors. So we, like we were able to try like 10 different flavors. The root beer float was great for me. The kids all seem to enjoy theirs, right? So we're having an amazing day and we've only been here a couple of hours. So uh, we are done with dessert and now we finally get to go check into our hotel great wolf lodge here we go